happy. Yep, and then when you're still living with your parents, you know. Still at your parents' house. I can't wait for us to move out of Emily's parents' house. Like, I do appreciate whatever thing you've done for us, but still, I mean, we, we can't live with our parents forever. You know, listen, <clears throat> it's refreshing to hear about how they want to leave. They want to uh, <laughs> get the words out of my mouth. <laughs> it's refreshing to hear that they want to move out and finally be away from Emily Perrin's house. But um, there's only one little problem with that. One little problem with that. And uh, that's something that we're definitely going to get down to throughout this video. So um, let's continue. All right. I mean, having a physical connection is like important in a marriage too, babe. Mm -hmm. And I need to know that like you are still physically attracted to me. This is where the problem lies. All this physicality, guess what? Guess Emily where? Pregnant again. Pregnant again. So, you know, it's interesting to hear them talk about, you know, <laughs> wanting to move out. And listen, I'm all for it. But at the same time, you gotta be, uh, what do you call it? Realistic. And you gotta make sure your priorities are in the right place. But I guess sometimes people's priorities can easily slip in the wrong place and then things happen. Mm. Third child. Yeah. And still living in mommy and daddy's house. I just want you to want me and I want to know that that's what you want. I want you now that Kobe has recovered from his ACL surgery and he's back at work and he's getting his weekly paychecks, we can finally put money aside and start really focusing on house hunting. Well, I guess that house hunting went out the window because like I said before, or I've shown you there, I'm going to go pregnant again with the third child. You know, it's funny because there's many people in this world that they say certain things, but all it is is just nothing but words. And that's exactly what Amy and Kobe is. I mean, listen, it doesn't matter whether you, what we want to blame Emily and say what well, was her because she's the one that's always wanted to be sexually active and this is what happens. But at the same time, it takes not one, but two people to make a baby. So Emily can't get pregnant by herself, right? So obviously Kobe would have his own responsibility in this manner. And if he hasn't taken responsibility, well, then this is why they're still here. Because let's be real. Emily will always be happy staying at home. She has no issues whatsoever with staying at home for literally the rest of her life. Let's be real. But Kobe, on the hand, if he really wants to get out and he really. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Once I said, if Kobe really wants to get out, if you know, you know. <laughs> then, you know, he would obviously say to her, listen, like, we need to move out because I want to be the man of the house. Because that's something he's always like. He's always tired like being the man of the house. But he did say in this episode that it's hard for him to be the man of the house, given the fact that, you know, he's still living in a parent's house. But either way, though, this is another week of Night Day Diaries, and this is exactly what went down with Emily and Colby. But uh, like I said before, if they if they really want to be serious, they've got to get their prize in the right place. But nonetheless, though, you guys let me know what you're thinking, and uh, we can talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.